Welcome to the project demonstration of grid connected photovoltaic system with MPPT and bug boost converter. So the main application of this project is whenever the solar panel is connected to charge a battery. So in order to charge a battery in efficient manner, we need to use MPPT means maximum power plant tracking and that will be achieved with the help of this bug boost converter. So what is the purpose of MPPT nothing but so though we are using 12 volt 5 watt solar panel so when we place the solar panel under the full sunlight when we expose that to the full sunlight then we can get up to 18 volts so means 5 watts 18 volts so then the current will be decreased so when we get the 12 to 13 volts then or uh, to equalize the wattage of power power wattage uh, then the current is going to be the maximum and whenever we are increasing the voltage to equalize the power then the current will be decreased then we won't get the maximum power so in order to maintain the maximum power we need to decrease the voltage so that we will get the maximum current with maximum voltage with the maximum power so that's why we will call it as maximum power point tracking so that will be done with the help of the Arduino you know, board which is continuously monitor the output voltage of the solar panel and whenever it is above 14 volts then the system will do the buck operation whenever it is above 8 volts to 12 volts then it will do the boost operation so for that purpose we are making use of this bug and boost uh, converter for MPPT operation and these two voltage sensors continuously measuring the voltage of the buck converter, buck boost converter along with the solar panel voltage sensor this is the solar panel voltage sensor this is the output of this buck boost converter voltage sensor and the next uh, this one is a charging circuit which is connected from the solar panel to the or uh, bug bus converter and this is a charging circuit so whenever the sunlight is not available in order to charge this battery pack we are making use of this transformer so here and one more thing is so we are going to connect the output of this battery pack to the grid so that's why it is called the grid connected photovoltaic system so the photovoltaic system with the help of MPPT we are going to get the output voltage of 12 to 14.5 uh, that is sufficient to charge a battery pack once the battery is charged then we need to connect that to the grid with the help of this inverting circuit so there we have the two stages one is the inverter which is convert the 12 volts DC to 12 volts of AC and next is the step up stage so uh, the 12 volts of AC will be step up to the 230 volts of AC and from there we are convert, uh, connecting to that uh, grid and continuously the input and output voltage solar and output voltages continuously monitoring on the 16 by 2 LCD screen continuously uh, through the Arduino Uno board so we have interfaced the A0, A1 to the voltage sensors and pin number 2 to 7 for the LCD screen and coming to the inverter board there we can see the CD4047 IC uh, which is easy to provide the continuous pulses of 50 heads the 50 head pulses are input to the MOSFETs alternatingly we are going to switching the DC to AC with the help of the circuit and the AC of 12 volts AC input to the step up transformer in 12.0.12 for uh, 3 amps of current can be handled by this transformer and ratings are 12 volt 5 watt solar panel and uh, charging circuits voltage sensors bug boost converter 12 volts 2 amps battery pack we are using so here the 12 volts 2 amps nothing but we can see the 6 batteries are connected so each battery is 4 volt 1 amp and these 3 are in series so we will get 12 volt 1 amp and here also 12 volt 1 amp these 2 are in parallel so we will get 12 volts 2 amps DC outputs and here you can see the charging circuits yeah, coming to the transformer also 230 volts to 12 volts AC 1 amp transformer 12 volts DC to 12 volts AC inverting circuits 12 volts AC to 230 volts AC step up transformer and here you can see that these two charging circuits look like same so here also we are uh, uh, using the four diodes which is used to convert the 12 volts of AC to pulsating DC and from the capacitor the PUDC is input to the di uh, battery through the two diodes the two diodes purpose is to make the uh, unidirectional current flow means when the battery is fully charged the diodes will block the current flow from the battery to the transformer same here also two diodes are there but these four diodes purpose in this uh, charge circuit is uh, when we connect the DC inputs these four diodes will act as a polarity corrector even though we connect the solar panel in reverse bias, reverse direction then it will rectify that to the plus to plus and minus to minus and after this filtration sorry rectification of the DC polarity correction the, the capacitor will remove the pulses if is there any occurred and directly that is input to the 
Bugbus converter and from there after MPPT operation successfully done it is input to the battery pack. So let us see if you want to charge a battery pack from the solar panel or a transformer it will get fully charged in a duration of 4 to 5 hours uh, either from the solar panel or from the transformer. Once uh, we connect the both at a time then it will get fully charged in a duration of 1 and a half hour to 2 hours maximum as we are getting the more power from the both. So before demonstration keep the battery under full charge for uninterrupted power supply to the kit and uh, then you can on the power supply to the kit so using the switch just when we on this then welcome is displayed on the LCD screen and the next solar panel voltage is measuring so just we are placing this uh, more lighting on the solar panel we can see the voltage also increasing and low lighting low voltage right so if you place the solar panel under the full sunlight then we can observe the duty cycle will be changes continuously whenever the voltage is increased by 8 volts otherwise it will come normal only and output voltage we can see the 14, point, uh, 14 volts was programmed in the Arduino you know, board continuously and once if you want to utilize that to the grid directly we can on this so the operation of 12 volts AC to 12 volts of 2 volts of AC will be done using this inverter and step up transformer and the load is maximum of 30 to 40 watts of load can be connected over there right thank you